Today I'm going to be reviewing my compact travel setup for the Steam Deck. If you're looking to take your Steam Deck on some adventures, maybe game at a friend's place, or just feeling nostalgic for that console gaming experience, then check out this lineup of hardware. We'll be looking at the compatibility and ease of use between the Steam Deck, an Xbox controller, the Logitech MX Keys Mini, and the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S mouse. Then we'll put it all in the travel bag and we'll see how convenient it is to take it out on the go. We're going to start with the Steam Deck itself. If you're watching this video, chances are you already have one or you're looking at buying one. My experience with the deck has been great so far. It's accompanied me on a few long trips since I bought it and it's been a real game changer. As great as the deck has been on trips or flights, it actually gets most of its use at home. While I do have a full desktop computer, I find it more convenient and comfortable to use the Steam Deck for a casual gaming session after work. Even so, I feel like I can be getting more use out of the deck and I wanted to make it not only a portable way to play, but also a versatile tool I could easily bring with me. Since my purchase of the Steam Deck dock, I started to research and acquire other devices that would add to a travel friendly experience. My criteria for a travel friendly device came down to a few core things. The first one being that it must be able to charge using the Steam Deck USB-C charger. This eliminates the need for multiple cables and only requires me to bring the Steam Deck charger itself. Bluetooth connectivity was also a must. While there is some noticeable latency with Bluetooth devices, I didn't want to be forced to use dongles or wire in order to connect my devices. And finally, small form but solid build quality. Small devices are going to be easier to transport, and if these devices are going on the road with me, they're bound to get beat up over time. If you plan on using the Steam Deck dock for playing games, then getting a wireless controller is going to be a priority. I chose an Xbox Series X controller because I'm familiar with the layout and I've always liked how durable they are. The Series X controller is actually a little smaller than I remember Xbox controllers being, but this isn't a bad thing when it comes to putting it in our travel kit. This controller takes two AA batteries to operate wirelessly, and I did end up running into some connectivity issues with low batteries. Because of that, I really recommend getting the rechargeable battery pack as well. The Xbox controller can be connected using Bluetooth or a wired connection to one of the USB ports on the dock. This controller and battery pack can be charged using the USB-C charger that comes with the deck, which makes our travel bag a little less cluttered. If you plan on using your Steam Deck as a workstation, or just want a solid compact keyboard to game on, take a look at the MX Keys Mini. This keyboard is very thin for the most part, and yet it still feels solid enough to just toss into a backpack. Its footprint is about the same size as the Steam Deck itself, which makes it easy when it comes to packing them up together. The backlit keys have made it easy to use in all environments, but I could have gone without the multi-OS keyboard layout. It can be connected using Bluetooth and charged using the same USB-C cable as the Steam Deck. The keyboard has a physical on-off switch, so you don't need to be concerned about it constantly waking up while it's bumping around in our travel bag. It is a membrane keyboard, but I justified buying it over its mechanical alternative due to its thinness and solid build quality. Last but not least is the MX Anywhere 3S. This mouse works on pretty much any surface, which is great because it eliminates the need for us to bring a mouse pad. The mouse is a smaller form factor, although it still feels comfortable enough to use for an extended time. It connects over Bluetooth and is chargeable using the same USB-C charger as the Steam Deck. It also has a physical on-off switch and nicely positioned forward and back buttons. Now this is not a gaming mouse. Not to say you shouldn't game with it, but I wouldn't be playing any competitive shooters with it especially when the input lag from the Bluetooth connection tends to be fairly noticeable. If you plan on using this mouse for a workstation or some casual gaming here and there, it's totally capable and I've been very happy with it so far. Here's where it all comes together. I did some looking around in local stores for a compact travel bag that would be able to fit all the devices without any wasted space. I ended up going online and finding this bag for a decent price. It's a good size for packing up all the devices, however, I wish the main pocket had a little bit more depth to it. I would have liked to pack my Steam Deck in its original carry case for added protection. Aside from this, everything seems to fit compactly and there is enough room to organize everything intelligently. So far, it's been incredibly convenient to have everything I need to play games and bring a portable workstation with me all in one compact kit. It's made it easy to be mobile and productive or have fun during some downtime. If you're looking to get more use out of your Steam Deck, then I'd really recommend putting together a travel kit of your own. If you have any suggestions or changes you'd make to this kit, please let me know. If you already have a travel kit, I'm interested in what you've chosen for it and how it's been performing for you. This definitely isn't the ultimate bundle, but it's been fun putting it all together. Most importantly, it's given me a good excuse to play more games and the capability to do it.
I hope this video was helpful to those looking for a similar setup. Thanks for watching.